Hey guys, Pixel Beaver here, and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing a follow-up-ish type of video for my last one about the PC storage options comparison, which you can watch somewhere in the top right corner of your screen now. Link will also be in the description to that. More specifically, we will be looking at the Toshiba external USB 3.0 hard drive. So most, and I do say most because I'm not too sure about all, uh, but most of Asus motherboards offer a software called AI Suite 3, the full featured version, uh, which you can download from Asus website. Link will also be in the description for that. When putting in your motherboard model and operating system, you can see which uh, features of the software are compatible with your system. I'm currently using an Asus 970 Pro Gaming slash Aura with Windows 10 Home 64-bit, I believe. And I have the option to use Asus USB 3.0 Boost or Turbo Boost or whatever that is. So, uh, supposedly, this feature is supposed to improve the speeds of your external hard drives. In the software, it shows you a layout of all the external hard drives that are connected to your system. You can select one and then change between normal and turbo mode. However, it is USB 3.0 boost, so it only shows you the external hard drives that it recognizes which are connected into USB 3.0, or in my case, USB 3.1 ports. So, let's take a look at the results. As you can see, the USB 3.0 Turbo Boost system does take quite a noticeable effect on the sequential Q32 T1 read and write speeds of the Toshiba external drive, bringing the 88 megabytes per second speed to a very solid 101 megabytes per second speed, or about an increase of 13 megabytes per second. Had a little stronger increase of about 16 megabytes per second on the write speeds, however. On the 4K Q32 T1 read test, there was a different story. The speed actually decreased on the drive, if only by 0 0.063, 0 0.063 megabytes per second, and seems that it might just be a rare slower test result, as the other 4K tests did not prove to be that slow. On the write speed of the same test, it did increase as expected. It improved by about 0 0.287 megabytes per second, so not much of an increase, however, the 4K tests being that it is only 4 kilobyte file sizes are much slower as most drives are optimized to move larger files over a span of time. Moving on to the plain sequential read and write speeds, we are seeing a 12 megabytes per second increase on the read and a 17 megabyte per second increase on the write. We are starting to see a pattern of write speeds being improved more than read speeds, but more on that later. Finally, moving on to the plain 4K read and write speed tests, we are seeing a 0.81 megabytes per second read speed increase and a 0.325 Mbps increase on the write speed of the same test and same drive. Now, if you do not know what these tests are, these are the sequential Q32 T1 tests, the 4K Q32 T1 read and write test the sequential and the 4K. These are all done in Crystal Disk Mark benchmarking software with a one, uh, one gigabyte file size, three runs for each of those four tests, and selected on the correct drive, of course. So the sequential Q32 T1 test, what it is, it is, it is a 128 kilobyte block um, that is moved over multi-threaded and multi-queued file move throughout the drive. The 4K Q32 T1 read and write test is a multi-queued and multi-threaded 4 kilobyte block size. I, actually, sorry, it's not even a block, it's a random read and write uh, file. And then the sequential is just a 1, mega, me, one, one megabyte single threaded and single queued read and write speed test. The 4K plain 4K test, it is a 4 kilobyte random single threaded and single queued read and write test. So you may be wondering now, what does this all come down to? And the answer is yes, using the USB 3.0 Turbo Boost significantly improves the performance and speed of your external hard drive when looking at the raw numbers. In practical terms, unless you have an insanely strong sense of time and can notice the probable one to two milliseconds of decrease in the time it takes to move files to and from your external hard drive, this Turbo Boost will probably not apply to you. However, it is a free software, so if you're not downloading it for that feature, you can be downloading it for the power saving options, which include an away mode, which, um, for example, if you don't want your computer to turn off, but you're, you know, going away somewhere, say you're exporting a video and you want to save power. Actually, you probably shouldn't combine that together. However, it will keep your computer on with a black screen 
and save a lot of power. I use it sometimes if I remember to, but yeah, it's nice anyway. And then there's Fan Expert, which has this fan tuning, like expert fan tuning, I think they call it. It'll uh, notice the exact models of all of your fans, test them out, turn them on and off, you know, get a whole sense of how your fans perform, and then it will tune them and give a custom fan curve based on that, which you can edit if you do wish. There's a silent, standard, turbo, and full speed modes on there. Has this little mini bar too, which is kind of nice in the right corner of your screen, which you can move. It's pretty great. Once again, the link to download the AI Suite software will be in the video description or somewhere on the screen now. So if you did enjoy the video, drop a like and even consider subscribing if you do want to see more videos like this. Once again, once again, this is a follow up video. So if you didn't see the original video, that will also be in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the video description. And with that, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and bye-bye.